The experts and business owners agree that China has been taking advantage of and profiting greatly from trade policies with the U.S. Many are split on how exactly the Trump administration should tackle the issue. Fox 61's Nia Hamm joins us live with more on what experts right here in Connecticut think. Nia? Katie, that's right. And many business owners stand to lose a lot if, if the tariffs are imposed. But the idea of a trade war has opened up debate as to whether it's worth it, especially if it leads to better trade agreements with China. We have a $375 billion trade imbalance with China. The trade deficit with China is behind President Trump's proposed tariffs of Chinese goods, pushing China to propose tariffs on U.S. products like cars, aircrafts, and soybeans in retaliation. All of it stoking fears of a trade war and financial loss for U.S. businesses. It hasn't started yet since no tariffs have been actually imposed. What I see is belligerent talk on both sides. But China is being aggressive, proposing a 25 percent tariff on U.S. soybeans, for example. A big move for China, the largest importer of U.S. soybeans. And bad news for soybean farmers like Jeffrey Lipton of Pleasant View Farms in Summers, who stands to lose money. Not a very good thing if you're an agricultural producer because we do send about $20 billion worth of products to China. But Lipton, whose farm produces other products like corn and grains, says he's even more concerned with China taking advantage of U.S. trade policies, so he's standing by President Trump. I support the president, and if we all have to bite the bullet a little bit at the beginning here to possibly get China to sit down and negotiate with our negotiators, then I still support his move. Lipton says he makes about $25,000 a year from soybeans. That's about a quarter of his overall profits. He says the tariffs could really hurt his business, but he's not worried thanks to help from the government. He's eligible for federal subsidies and has other businesses that bring in income, like a restaurant and golf courses. But Quinnipiac University professor Dr. David Cadden does not agree with the Trump administration's approach to confronting China, which he says has benefited greatly from the trade deficit. And I don't know if that necessarily is going to be the best solution. But he does see the need for fresh negotiations. Hopefully it's basically the opening gambits for trying to renegotiate some of the tariff relationships and trade relationships between the two countries. Up till now, China has not come to the table. And although Lipton is remaining optimistic, he says larger corporate farms do have more to lose than smaller farms like his due to restrictions in federal subsidies. Nia Hamm, Fox 61 News. Nia, thank you.